Welcome to Lesson Five on Trig Identities. This time, we will derive the identity for cosine of a plus b. Last time, we derived it for sine of a plus b. Because this is a continuation of that lesson, please review that before continuing. Are you ready? This is the same picture we constructed last time. Those two pink triangles play an important role again, because we can see that our cosine of a plus b is equal to x minus y, where x and y each correspond to a leg of a pink triangle. Let's find x first. Using the triangle on the bottom, we see that x is the adjacent side of angle A. That means we can try to use cosine of A to find x. Cosine of A is its adjacent side x over the hypotenuse cosine B. X equals to cosine of A times cosine of B. Next, let's look at the pink triangle pointing up. Y is the opposite side of angle A. That means we can try to use sine A to find Y. Sine A is its opposite side Y over the hypotenuse sine B. Cross multiplying. We find that y is sine of a times sine of b. Now we can find cosine of a plus b. Cosine of a plus b is x minus y, where x is cosine a cosine b, and y is sine a sine b. Miss Jane, that surely explains the minus sign in the middle of that identity. Yes, it sure does, Chipmunk. Are we ready for an example? We can use this identity to find the exact value of cosine of seventy-five degrees. Seventy-five is not one of our special angles. Thirty, forty-five, sixty are. Do we see a combo of those that make seventy-five? Sure, we do. Cosine of seventy-five degrees equals to cosine of thirty degrees plus forty-five degrees. And the identity says the cosine of a sum is the cosine cosine minus the sine sine. So here we go. We get cosine thirty, cosine forty-five minus sine thirty, sine forty-five. I hope all of you memorized those trig values from my first trig lesson. But whenever we forget, just draw the two special triangles. The thirty sixty one is half of a sixty sixty sixty. Equilateral triangle with sides too. The forty-five forty-five one is an isosceles triangle with sides one. With these two special triangles, we find all the values we need. Cosine thirty is square root three over two. Cosine forty-five is square root two over two. Sine thirty is one over two. Sine forty-five is square root two over two. Let's think a little before simplifying. Notice both terms have fours in the denominator. So let's factor out that four. Both terms have square root two in the numerator. So let's factor that square root two out. And we are left with square root of three minus one, and that is the exact value of cosine of seventy-five degrees. Nice, right? 
from the identity sine of a plus b and cosine of a plus b, we can easily derive identities for sine of 2a and cosine 2a. Do you see how? These are called the double angle identities. Give it a try to see what the result looks like. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. I'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you.